In this video, we'll write code that uploads image to S3 bucket. And I will uh, go to my blog, swiftdeveloperblog.com and then code example section because I do have uh, some ready to use code for this example and scroll down all the way to Amazon section AWS and here I have upload image to Amazon AWS bucket. So I'll click on this link and that will take me to the code example page and um, here we go, here's the code. I'll simply click on this plus button to grab the source code and then go back to my Xcode project. And um, by the way, I've started it using the workspace rather than a project name. And when you start your Xcode project using the workspace, you'll see the pod file and all the frameworks and the pods that have been downloaded. So uh, I will go to view controller, uh, a file that I will need to edit, and I'll simply replace this code with the one I copied and paste from the um, website. And uh, here, uh, let me uh, quickly increase the font size. So I'll go to fonts and colors and then use presentation style that should make it larger. Yeah, okay, so I have an empty view controller with the source code that I have copied and paste. And the first step here, we have to configure the Cognito credentials. We have to provide identity pool. And to uh, get your, um, your Cognito credentials, you'll need to go to Amazon Web Services into um, Amazon Web Services console and then under mobile services, we used Cognito to create an identity pool. So I'll go to Manage Federated Identities, click here, and we've created a video tutorial identity pool. So I'll click here, and then I can go to sample code, for example, and I can look up which identity pool is being used in the sample code, or I can edit this identity pool and look up the identity pool ID here. So I'll copy this identity pool and then I will go to my Xcode and then I will replace this line with the identity pool. The next can stay unchanged. Basically, we are creating credential providers, a provider, and then we are setting, um, we are creating Amazon Web Services configuration and setting that configuration to Amazon uh, Web Services Manager. Okay, and then we provide some of the bucket details. So the bucket name that I'm going to be uploading um, is called Learn Swift. We have created this bucket in, my, in our earlier video. And the file that I'm going to be uploading will be JPEG. The extension of the file will be JPEG. And uh, let me look up the file name. The file name that I'm going to be uploading uh, will be called cat, cat JPEG. This is the file here. So I will replace um, the file name with the cat. And um, so uh, the next line is to uh, compose a complete file name, basically local file name plus extension. And if you wanted to use a random file name rather than other than cat, you can use, you can uncommon this line, for example, um, which creates, uh, which uses an SUUID to create a random, generate random unique string with the, <clears throat> which can be used as a file name. And uh, then we create upload request by setting the image URL as the body of that request the uh, remote name, the file name as the key, set bucket name and the content type, which is image JPEG as the uh, content type of our upload request. And then we create an instance of uh, transfer manager and uh, call upload with the upload request. And once that request completes, uh, the block of code inside of this block is executed and uh, we can access some information from the task uh, object. For example, if error takes place, an error object will be populated and we can uh, read the localized description of that um, object or if exception takes place, 
otherwise if result is not now then we can uh, we can we we know that the image has been uploaded and we can do some uh, some other stuff and in my case I print out the URL um, of the um, I, I compose the URL to the image and I basically append the bucket name and the upload request key which is our file name to compose the complete URL uh, to our image and then I can use that URL to read the image content back and then I can uh, if it's not now if the image data is not now I can create an instance of UI image and then UI image view and add this image as a sub view to my um, to my view so uh, this is it the code is ready uh, you can copy it paste into your project and run and test so let me run quickly this code example and see how it works okay so application is starting up and I see that um, I see that uh, the request is successful and the output is um, uploaded to the image is uploaded to and the URL which I have uh, composed here because of successful result and I do see that my image has been uploaded successfully I see that little thumbnail of my cat and the reason it is very small because of the image size I set when I create the image view I created an image 25 by 25 I could probably make it a bit larger like 300 by 200 and then it will be um, uh, a lot a lot larger and um, while this running uh, I can also go and quickly uh, check my uh, for example my um, the bucket I will go to s3 service and then I have a few buckets there and one of them is called learn Swift which we used in our um, code example the bucket is called learn Swift so if I go there I do see one image which is cat jpeg and if I look up its property here's the URL I'm accessing it with and it is the same URL that has been printed out here so if I look up my, at my um, view controller now the image appears um, well and this is it and this covers the image upload from our uh, project up to S3 Amazon Web Services S3 packet